opponent said GG's in chat. Long match. Mr. Chat Lethal. We we don't record nearly all of my punts, just you know, for reference. You doing okay over there, D? I'll be right back. right back two seconds we had a little bit of a baby vomit apologies you okay bud Apologies for the brief interruption. Uh, I am not a single father. My wife is uh, studying for an exam she has to take for work upstairs, so I am half wrangling the children while I stream. It's it uh, is eleven oh eight here. Um, if you're first time by the stream, uh, I'm a father of two. Their pictures are below the stream. Jacob and Declan, my oldest is a little over two, and my youngest is about ten months. He got a piece of chip that was a little bit too big for himself. Put the kids to bed. The kids are like on their, on a they do what they want type schedule, so. My oldest goes to bed about midnight. The youngest has been going to bed about 12.30 or 1.00. Children are definitely more important, yep. 6 a.m.? Why are you awake? There's a 6 o'clock in the a.m.? Ah, oh, jeez. The only time I see 6 o'clock in the a.m. is when when the kids wake up dead early. Uh, Declan. D-E-C-L-A-N. Declan. D-Clan. Itty bitty baby D-Clan. We call him D-Money for short, right? Yep, exactly. Like, trying to make them go to sleep and then... Easy mulligan. Opponent also mulliganed at least. Uh, yeah, sounds actually very good. The Seekers are great on turn two, and they're not they're not great uh, in terms of after that, usually. That, that's perfect. It unmulligans us. Turn two Seeker, turn three Reed is just... It's delicious.
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, so, like, last night, I... And I didn't stream it because it was late. I just, like, watched Netflix in between rounds, but... I'm an idiot and thought it would be a good idea to play in the PPTQ that started at 12.30 last night. So I kept the kids up till about 1 a.m. Because I knew I was going to be up till like 3 a.m. A little bit of whiskey. A Seeker Mirror. I haven't played one of these in a while. Alright, so he's playing... Well, I'm just going to grasp his idiot so that way he can't kill ours and attack back. So, the reason why Seeker is really powerful in this deck, and why a lot of people don't understand when they cut him is putting Seeker in two on this deck and then killing all of their things every turn is like turning every single spell you cast into Lightning Helix. So that's why Seeker is great in this deck. Grasp of Darkness, Lightning Helix you now. Play this other spell, Lightning Helix you now. Like, it's just so good. Jace is very, very powerful, and people are playing him for a reason. That being said, there are decks like this that are perfectly reasonable without Jace. Another two drop. I want to make my land drop, but I don't want to get hit by the seeker, so I'm just going to grasp it. If he hits land and plays Siege Rhino this turn, we're a little bit in trouble, but hopefully he just doesn't have a threat this turn, so we can take a turn off to read. If he has Anafenza here, that's not the worst. Tassiger could be a little annoying because one of the things Grasp doesn't kill. Abbott. Okay, so opponent's playing Outpost Siege. That's interesting. So opponent's playing a more aggressive Mardu deck. I guess that's why he has Wild Slash instead of... Uh, I'm just going to keep killing his things, keep our life total high. Seeker does trigger off caster Planeswalkers. Apologies for the bit of background noise. My oldest is literally running around in circles, screaming. Yeah, man, you get in there with that man land. This is great, because this is effectively him taking a turn off, even though it did some damage to us. So we get to go ahead and read these bones. So, like... I'm going to bottom transgress and top obnix. He can run away with this game. We hit some lands. Gideon's good, too. Got the dream team in hand. So one of the things that's really sweet about this deck is that in addition to not taking damage from our, our land, Sands Caves of Coilus, like, we're not fetching a bunch, we also gain life from our land. So, like, this deck, on average, has between two and four more life points than other decks in the format to start. Alright, so this is an interesting decision point. I could Obnix and kill his Abbot of Carol Keep, but then he just gets to just take his next turn and Shambling Vent back Ob, so I'm going to pass here and we're going to secure for four, I think. So we can secure for four and then on our turn play Soren plus and then crack him for eight and gain eight. That sounds great. Although I guess he has Shambling Vent, so maybe we'll secure and then Gideon if he can activate Shambling Vent. So we're just going to take the hit from this Abbot since we're at such a high life total. My starting loads is Planeswalker. I don't know. I haven't put a lot of thought about a lot of design space into myself. Wow. So this no attack here tells us that his hand is very bad because he can't attack into the Shambling Vent. Opponents on a more aggressive Mardu Green, he's got... I, I'm just confused as to what our opponent is doing. He, he's got Burn and Abbot and, and Seeker in his deck, so I'm not sure exactly what his deck is doing. Alright, so the fact that he's getting aggressive with his burn means I'm just going to play Soren. So Soren's probably going to gain us 13 life effectively. He's going to gain us 8 on this attack, and then he's going to gain us 5 next turn when our opponent attacks into it. And by that point, Soren's done enough damage that our opponent probably can't catch back up. Deflecting palm, sure, man. So we're only going to gain six. That's fine. He sees minimal play in Eternal Formats. Kenny Wings, howdy. Welcome to the stream.
Just gonna cash this in. Got enough life total, I think I just wanna be aggressive here. Are you trouble, toddler? You trouble? Ghostbusters movie. You literally just choked on the potato chip. You're not having more. Kids, 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 kids. So, Oath of Gideon just wasn't very impressive every time I tested it, so I quickly cut it. It's just like, the cards that you're replacing that Oath of Gideon could be are just like better than the Oath most of the time. So, now we're just going to draw a bunch of cards and run away with the game. Our card quality is always... Resub Postman with the two-month resub. I appreciate the continued support. You are the best. We are up to 51 out of 100 on our sub goal towards the 12-hour stream. Have we seen a green or black card yet? We haven't, actually. There's, there's a Crackling Doom, sure. Jace VW with the follow. Welcome. Uh, I added the sub goal earlier this week, but I'm, I've count, I counted all the subs from this year. So these, these subs are from this year, since January, I believe. New day. Uh, there are always links to the list below the stream. You can find a link to, or on the right side of the stream if you're on mobile. Find a link to my deck list page on the metery. So I'm just going to go ahead and destroy this and crack him for six. That should be lethal. I mean, Mardu's a very good deck. Just like super reasonable. Plays a bunch of like reasonably powerful cards. I don't think I want to transgress the mind against this deck. Duress seems okay. He doesn't seem like he has a lot of threats, so I don't think I want this. Kalidas seems medium. He's got Exquisite Firecraft to kill it, but Lifelink seems powerful against what he's doing. Maybe I'll just like bring in a random mentor. Maybe we'll bring in a couple mentors and cut Omnixilis. I think I like this. Almost at 5k follows too, yep. Although 5k subs would be a sweet goal. My wife would lose her stuff if we hit 5k subs. So we're going to lead Swamp on one in case we draw Grasp and do another Black Source. Yeah, this chat would be like Dubots, yep. I say I need to draw some lands, but other than that, it's pretty reasonable. Hey, that's great. So again, I just want to keep our life total high. So I'm just going to kill this instead of playing the Seeker. Because if he just goes like Wild Slash our Seeker, hits you for three, that's like really miserable for us. So I'd rather just kill his idiot. Immolating Glare. Um, I think Immolating Glare is worse than playing Grasp of Darkness, which is what we're currently doing essentially. I'm going to cast Read the Bones here. We're going to... Hmm, how many more lands do I want? I think I want another planes. Yeah, I'll take a planes. Mentor's not bad. Alright, so we're going to 8 here. Opponent's got...